Hello and welcome back to Paul's Previews. Today we'll be looking at the Aptin 15877 digital alarm clock. It boasts a jumbo LCD display, backlight and a crescendo alarm. It weighs 345 grams when the batteries are fitted. It measures 195 millimeters long, 100 millimeters high, 50 millimeters from front to back, the characters are 60mm high and it's made of a hard grey ABS plastic. Let's have a look at the back. So on the back we can see two mountain holes. The fixtures for these to mount it onto the wall do not come with the clock. We have six buttons running along the middle and they are called time, alarm, hours, minutes, alarm off snooze there's a battery compartment for the two AA batteries a 5 volt dc supply input and a usb output okay let's install the batteries push the clip down battery compartment opens put the first battery in put the second battery in and put the clip back on. You will notice that the default setting is the 12 hour clock. To change this to the 24 hour clock just press the hours button and there you see that it's gone to the 24 hour clock system Press the hours button again and it's back to the 12 hour system. To set the time on this clock, just press the time button and the hours advance button. Hold the hours advance button down and it scrolls through very, very quickly. Same thing, hold the time button down, press the minutes button. And I hold the minutes button down and the minutes advance very very quickly. To set the alarm, press the alarms button and the hours button. Hold the alarm button and the hours button down and you can see it scrolls through very quickly. To set the minutes Hold the alarm button down and the minutes will scroll through rapidly. Let's set the alarm to 12.01. Push the alarm button to turn it on and you can see a bell comes on and the snooze button comes on. There's a crescendo alarm. And the, the alarm will carry on for a minute. To stop the alarm, press the alarm button. And you can see that the bell symbol and the snooze symbol has gone off. I'll give you a rear view of setting the time. So press the time button and the hours button or the minutes button. To set the alarm, press the alarm button and the hours button and the minutes button. Here's a close up of the buttons. So we've got the time, alarm, hours, minutes, alarm on and off and the snooze button. So what do I like about this alarm clock? Well, I like the battery saving feature. I like the way that the backlight, when you touch the top, turns on. And then to save and conserve the batteries, after a while, it turns off. And that backlight is quite bright. 
The other thing I like about this is the viewing angle of a display. So you can view this clock from any angle in the room. I also like the large digits. I think anybody who's visually impaired will get something out of that size display. What do I dislike about this clock? I'm not that keen on the plastic ABA case. Um, it doesn't look very attractive. I'm sure that uh, if it got dropped, then I suspect it would crack. But that's only conjecture. The crescendo alarm annoys me. In my opinion, crescendo means something that gets louder and louder and louder. What this tends to do is the beeps get shorter and shorter and shorter, which is not a crescendo alarm in my opinion. I also found that the volume was very, very quiet, especially considering it's supposed to be an alarm clock. In my opinion, there's only going to be two people who would get some value out of this clock, and that is somebody who has a large room, so in that case, the large digits make sense, or somebody who is visually impaired. Now, if you're visually impaired, these buttons, or at least the text on the buttons, makes no sense because it's very, very small and very, very tiny. The other thing I don't like about this is this power supply. Now, the implication is that if you stick a 5-volt DC power supply into that socket, it powers the clock. Well, it doesn't. All it does is supply power out to the USB. So you've got a lead coming in and a lead coming out to charge your phone, etc. The other thing I find strange about this is the position of the snooze and the alarm button. So they're both at the back. So if your alarm goes off, you've got to reach around the back or turn the clock round to try and find the alarm button or the snooze button. So how do I rate this clock? Considering the volume is so poor on what is supposed to be alarm clock, I'm going to give this a rating of 5 out of 10. If you have any questions, please stick them below in the comment section. Click the like button, subscribe or hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching Paul's previews.